Let's talk about ways not to look older, but instead look your age. I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist, and I help women find the best styles that suit their body shape, their coloring, and their personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. For some women, the title of this video might get them a little upset because they think, what's all this fuss about not looking older? Why don't we just age gracefully? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about is aging gracefully and which also includes not looking older, but instead looking your age. No woman that I know wants to look more than her age. Some want to look younger than their age, but most I think want to look their age. About four years ago, I did a video called Seven Ways Not to Look Older. And this video is going to be a continuation of that video. So I'm going to show you some things that you can do, things that are within your control to look more of your age and not look older. Because we don't want to be doing things that are actually making us look older and not our age. Here are seven tips not to look older. Number one is fit and proportion. When your clothes don't fit you well, they're either too baggy, too tight, the wrong length for you, the wrong shape for you, and your body shape, it doesn't really give the best effect of how you look. Especially if you wear clothes that are frumpy, that will make you look older. And usually frumpy clothes are clothes that aren't in proportion and the outfit isn't balanced. If there's one thing that's very important when it comes to your outfit is that it's balanced in and of itself and also that it is in harmony with your body shape. So this is all about proportion, line, length, all of that. And part of not looking older is to look your absolute best for the body and the face and for you. Just think for a second of a woman who's wearing clothes that are tailored to fit her body. It could be any style, but if that style suits her and her body shape, she's going to look so much better. And of course, if you look better, you look your age or maybe even younger, but you won't look older. So here's something you can try. Dress yourself in your best outfit, complete with your handbag, your shoes, accessories, everything and then take a picture and look at it subjectively. Does this outfit look balanced? If I saw this woman on the street, would I think that she looked good? Would I take a second look? Would I think that her clothes fit well? Or would I think, oh, mm -hmm. or would you just not notice? When people notice your outfit, when they compliment you on your outfit, that's a sign that you're doing something right. But if you take a subjective look at your outfit, and just kind of categorize it. Is this really looking good on me? Is it looking mediocre? Is it looking poor? So depending on where it comes in, you'll know what you need to do, what you need to change. Tip number two on not looking older is to think about color. Now in the last video I did, the video I mentioned, I talked about black as being one of those neutrals that you shouldn't wear near your face if you're over 50. Now, a lot of women don't agree with this because they love black and because they think it looks great and maybe because it actually looks good on them. But for the most part, women over 50 don't look great when they're wearing black near their face. That doesn't mean you can't wear it somewhere else. It doesn't mean you can't wear it as a jacket and wear something over your shoulders or around your face to, that's a color that looks good on you. But black, all black against your face creates a contrast that shows the wrinkles, the lines, the dark spots, all of that shows up more. And you really wouldn't notice this, well maybe you would, but usually you don't notice this if you're always doing it, always wearing it, unless you take a picture of yourself with a, here's another thing you can do, take a picture of yourself with a color, one of your best colors, wearing one of your best colors, and then take a picture of yourself wearing black near your face, like a black top and then just look at it again with a critical eye and determine whether black looks great on you or whether it doesn't. And I know all of us have lots of black. At least I used to have lots of black, I don't anymore. But black is something you really need to be aware of if you don't want to look older. 
Instead, to look younger or to look your age, wear colors that are suitable for you. Colors that are in harmony with your skin tone, your hair color, and your eye color. All of those, when they come together, create a really nice look. So if anyone ever says to you, that color you're wearing is really nice, as opposed to the color you're wearing really suits you, looks great on you. The first one means that it's a nice color. Maybe it's a color that stands out. The second one means that it looks good on you. But regardless, I would suggest that if you don't know what your best colors are, to find out what your best colors are, wear them and slowly get black out of your wardrobe if you have black in your wardrobe. And again, there are some women who can wear black. I'm not saying everyone can't, but make sure if you're wearing black that you're one of those people who can wear black or you take the chance of looking older and not your age. Number three is a skirt length and dress length. Now I mentioned this one before as well, and this has a lot to do with proportion. Again, it's all about the clothes you wear that creates that look that's you and creates how you look. So you can change how you look. You can look anyway. And if you look at really good actors, you'll see that they can change how they look for each movie. And the personality they're dressing for in a movie makes them totally different. So if you ever watch Meryl Streep, she has a different look for every movie, which goes along with the character. So let me bring that back to you. And that means that you can create the look you want to. So, but best don't create a look that somebody else's. Create a look that is yours, that, that um, resonates with you and how you want to look. So when it comes to skirt length, let's go back there, and dress length, it can make you look really frumpy. It can, the wrong length can make you really frumpy. And I'm sure you've heard me say this before. So make sure that you're wearing the length of your dress and your skirts are the right length for you and your body proportions because we're not all the same. We're all divided vertically, uh, different, we're ver different vertically and we're also different horizontally. So if you have, if you know your measurements, you know the best hemline for you and you know the best pant leg, you will look a lot more pulled together and that proportion and fit will be better. So it's not just about dress length and skirt length. I talk a lot about that. It's also about your jacket length. The jack a jacket that's the wrong length can really throw off your look. Let's say for example, a long jacket is trending or is stylish, but it doesn't suit your proportions. So when you wear it, it makes your legs look shorter. It makes you look shorter. It makes you look at a proportion. Well, that jacket isn't meant for you. The best jacket for you would be one that is in proportion to your body length and where your measurements are. So that might be a little bit shorter. It still will be long on you, but it wouldn't be as long. And of course, this requires a tailor. In order to get all of your lines and all of your measurements perfectly in your clothes, buying off the rack doesn't usually work because we're all different and we all have different measurements, but a tailor can help. They can help tweak your clothes so it suits your body and suits how you want to look. Now they can't tell you, usually there might be some who can, but they can't tell you what your best lengths are, but they can do what you tell them to do. So if you say, I want my jacket length into this length, then they can do it, but they won't tell you what your best length is. So it's skirts, dresses, jackets, sleeve length also makes a difference. Your pant length makes a difference. And it's not just what's in style, it's what's good for you. And if you wear any lengths that aren't good for you, they run the risk of making you look frumpy and they will make you look older. Don't want that. The fourth tip in not looking older is to avoid wearing trends. And those are trends that are old, that have been gone out of style for 10 years at least. And maybe, most likely, if you're watching this video, that's not you. And if it is you, don't worry about it. As long as you know, you can change it. So a trend would be something that was probably popular in the 90s or in the 80s. And I know that's a lot longer than 10 years. Anything that you had a long time ago and you're still wearing, it might even be a handbag. Maybe it's glasses. 
maybe your glasses are have the same rims as they did 10 15 years ago you change the lenses but you don't change the glasses or maybe it's a handbag that you had and you keep using the same handbag over and over again that will make you look older and the reason for this is trendy items stand out so if you take a trendy item from years ago and you wear it now it will stand out and it will make you look like you're not keeping up and not keeping up in a big way because that was 10 years ago <laughs> you don't have to keep up month by month or year by year or season by season but you need to keep up at least in five years or so if you don't want to look older the fifth way not to look older is to be very aware of your makeup now a lot of women after they get a certain age don't wear much makeup at all which is much better than wearing too much and too much what I usually see would be too much eyeliner too much foundation too much powder those are the three that really show up most so when you wear really dark eyeliner like you wore when you were 15 or 16 and you wear it on the bottom as well as the top so it outlines your eye it creates a look that makes your eye look smaller and it looks darker and it looks harsh so it would be better just to wear eyeliner in a very thin line because it's nice to have eyeliner but wear it between your eyelashes and make a thin line and don't wear any on the bottom Classic. or if this is like a drastic change and you say I really need that bottom eyeliner try some eyeshadow on your bottom line because it'll be a lot lighter not wet eyeshadow dry eyeshadow and that will be a lot better foundation make sure you choose a foundation that is the same color as your skin and also that it isn't put on too thick if it's too thick it gets increases it shows up and again if you put powder over that now you've got double whammy so that makes a difference in how you look again do a self-assessment take a look at the makeup you're wearing and ask yourself if you've changed it in the last few years 10 years 15 20 years if you haven't then it's time for a change and if you want to know more about this, there are professionals who can help you, show you how to apply it. And they know a lot about makeup and beauty. Just make sure that it's somebody who's, who actually knows and not somebody who's trying to promote products. The sixth way you might be looking older is by wearing undergarments that aren't suitable. So maybe they're too tight, they have bulges, or maybe they are, they're too old and they've lost all their elasticity and now they don't hold you where you should be held. Your bra should bring your bust up where it's supposed to be, which is like halfway between your elbow and your shoulder. If it droops down below that, it makes you look older. Again, this might not be easy for everyone because we're all different and everyone has different bust sizes and it's not always easy. But as much as you can, try to get your bust up as high as possible. Don't let it go down too far because it will create an aging look. Undergarments are the foundation for your whole look. So make sure your undergarments create that slim line without any bulges, nothing that sticks out. So for example, if you're wearing a dress, wear a one piece slip that glides over your body and you could sometimes even have a bra that's in that slip, which means there are fewer lines and then your clothes glide over your body better. If you have too many lines, too many elastics at your waist, one at your chest, all those little bumps create a frumpy look. It doesn't have that streamlined look. So in order to do that, you'll need to have undergarments that are tailored especially for you that fit you well and that keep everything in the place where it should be way the seventh way that you might be looking older is through your hair hair is one of those things that makes a big difference on your whole look if you have a nice cut a cut that suits you and it's in a color that suits you it will make you look more of your age than if you have hair that's straggly that doesn't have any shape or that is again maybe one that you've had since you were 25. if you haven't changed your hairstyle in a lot of years it might be time to look at your hairstyle and again with that discerning eye so you can see if 
your hair is really making you look older. There are lots of nice styles out there today and it's important to have a style that's easy for you and that you maintain regularly. A regular maintenance is a must have. And when you have that hairstyle that suits you and is the right color for you, and a good stylist will show you how to do this, will recommend good hairstyles. They might not recommend the right color because they're not trained in color theory, I don't think. Just make sure if you're cool coloring to wear hair tones that are in cool. And if you're warm coloring, wear your hair tones in warm. Some women can wear both warm and cool, and you might be one of those. But again, find out what's best for you, what looks best on you. Because if you're wearing the wrong hairstyle and the wrong color, it can be very aging and you don't want that. There are many things that can make you look older, but if you pay attention to how you look and find out what's really best for you, because we're all different, and if you follow other people, you might not look your best, because their best is not gonna be your best. So there are lots of things and lots of ways that you can improve. These are just a few to be aware of. Really appreciate you being here. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.